Hi everybody, and welcome back to the Mechanic on Rogue. In my last video, I got to show off my latest aluminum air battery. But there was one part I didn't go too deep into. The little voltage booster I used to make that single battery powerful enough to light up an LED flashlight. That little booster is called a Jewel Thief. And today, I'm going to show you exactly how I made mine. A Jewel Thief is a simple circuit. It can take low voltages, even voltages below one volt, and boost that voltage high enough so that it's actually able to produce some work. Maybe like running an LED. Put simply, it's thanks to this little guy that I didn't have to make a whole bunch of battery cells and chain them all together. For those of you who are curious, here's a wiring diagram of the circuit I'm building. There's lots of more complicated designs out there for Jewel Thieves. I stuck with the simplest one I could find. To build it, I just need a few basic components. One 10 ohm resistor, one NPN 2N2222 transistor, one LED, any color is okay, and one torrid core. Any diameter will work. I'm using a core with a 10 millimeter inside diameter. Besides these components, I'll be using a couple different sizes of copper wiring to connect the various components as well as to make some windings on the torrid core as well as there's also some fasteners and a 3D printed mounting board that I've made to secure everything and make it look pretty. I'm gonna start things off by winding my toroid core. This part's a little tricky the first time, but here's how I do it. You'll need two wires. I'm using 0.6 millimeter and 0.25 millimeter enamel coated copper wires that I salvaged out of some scrap electronics. I'm going to wind both of them around my core 14 times each. The trick is that the two wires need to be wound in opposite directions, one clockwise, the other counterclockwise, or else it won't work. In my example, you can see both windings on one side are connected and on the other side, they are not. Taking a look at that wiring diagram again, we can see they receive power from the same source. That power travels in opposite directions around the torrid core and then exits on the other side to now separate pieces of the circuit. Now that my winding is done, I can start installing my components into my 3D printed mounting board. You don't need the board. Lots of people just solder the parts directly. I opted for the board because I wanted to use this with my aluminum air batteries and this board makes that more convenient. I'm using some of my homemade ABS juice to hold these pieces in place. For additional connections, I'm using some solid core 2mm copper wire taken from a house grounding cable. And finally, I have these M5 fasteners to secure any remaining loose items. They also work as convenient input-output terminals. Now that the circuit is assembled and soldered, this is how it looks. Power and ground go into these two terminals here. This is the ground side, this is the power side. The power flows through the Jewel Thief circuitry and boosts the voltage to a usable level that powers the LED. When this LED lights up, that's an indication that it's working. These two terminals on the other side of the Jewel Thief are output terminals. This allows me to draw power from the boosted side of the circuit, and that's how I connected power to the flashlight at the start of the video. 
Now I built this to work for my aluminum air battery, which puts out 1.2 volts, but any other battery will work. I can take this weak AA battery right here. As you can see here, it's sitting at just under one volt. All I need to do is tie this into my circuit here and hooking it up to my Jewel Thief will get the exact same results. And I think that's pretty cool. This particular Jewel Thief starts to work at around 0.5 volts. Right now, I've got it hooked up to this test power supply. You'll see, as I increase the supply voltage, it'll fire up at 0.5 volts, and by the time it reaches 1.2 volts, it's really cooking. Up at around 1.2 to 1.5 volts, it also makes some noticeable coil whine. I haven't dared push it any further than that. All in all, this is a surprisingly simple way to get more out of a low voltage power source. And once you've built it, you can use it on all kinds of projects, not just aluminum air batteries. I hope this breakdown made Jewel Thieves feel a little more approachable. If you like what you see, be sure to like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, don't forget to drop them in the comments. I did spend a lot of time messing around with windings as well as different size resistors before I settled on this current version. All the electrical components I used, as well as the 3D printed circuit board, are linked in the video description. So you can check that out if you want more info. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. MGR signing out. Thank you.